if there's probably one candidate in this field that understands the complicated, you know, relationship between the police and communities of color, I think it's me. It's an area that I've worked hard in for the last 11 and a half years. We spend a lot of time ourselves as district attorney myself and assistant district attorneys getting into the community and attending the community meetings, uh, crime watch meetings, getting into the schools and building that relationship of trust that must exist between communities and police departments if we're going to solve horrific crimes like the Harlem Street triple homicide. You know, it's the single largest obstacle to solving cases is the unwillingness of witnesses to cooperate. And there's two reasons why. I mean, one, there is a culture among some that you simply do not, do not cooperate with the police under any, any circumstances for any reason, even if it's a sibling that was killed, even if it's uh, you know, a close friend that's killed, you simply do not cooperate, you handle that yourself. But there's another problem too, and that's fear. Ordinary citizens who see something oftentimes don't say something because of a legitimate fear. Boston does have a reputation um, of not being a terribly fun city for young professionals or young people uh, between, say, the ages of 21 and, and 30 or 35 years old. So, and I talk to a lot of them, I'm sure the other candidates do as well. Um, our city is one of the highest percentages in America of this population. And they, uh, they live by a different schedule than I do, you know, um, and, and oftentimes, even though they were in the workforce. I, I met with some young guys who, um, who worked one night and they were really on a hot issue and a software development idea. They looked up at the clock and it was quarter of 12 and they knew basically they weren't getting home that night. They ended up working through the night, actually. Um, hope they came up with their good idea. They were continuing to work on it when I met them. But the T ought to run later uh, for, for, for young professionals but, and third, third shift workers. And you ought to be able to go and work out in the gym at 4 o'clock in the morning if you had a long night in, in a biotech uh, firm in the innovation district. And you ought to be able to get a sandwich, too, at uh, you know, maybe 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning.